I have something we can talk about. So lately, I've I've made a big realization that I've been doing something wrong. I um every time I'm working on like a project, I just keep it to myself because I just I like to um uh, under promise and over deliver. Like that's my favorite thing. So I don't talk about anything. So when the perfume launched, everyone was like, "Where the fuck did this come from? Right? Like why did why didn't we know about a perfume? Like is this some money grab? Where in reality we're working on it for a year and a half, and it took up a lot of my fucking time. Right. Um, and and I think it 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 doesn't get as people as excited as they should be about the things I launch, and it makes things fall flat. So I want to talk about something that I am working on right now that I've been keeping a secret for the past eight m- months, probably a year now. Um, I want to talk about the the pizza company I'm starting mm. called Dobricks. Okay. It's run by um. The one and only. Yours truly. Ilya Fedorovich. CEO Ilya. That's why Ilya is out now. introduction you gave yourself. That's why Ilya is out here in LA to uh, help run this pizza company. It's called Dobricks. And yeah, we've been working on it for a little over, what, how long now? Uh, like six, seven months. Six, ever, seven, ever since I moved here. Six, seven months. Ever since I moved here. We what, had the idea like a year ago. What's the hardest thing about launching a pizza company? Hold on, let's let's let the dust settle a little bit. Okay. We just made a big announcement here, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably want to applaud me for a little while and compliment no, 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 me no, on no. the idea well, let's, before we get into it. Let's backtrack. Like I think people always, I think people are always wondering like what Ilya was doing out here, and it was always to like pursue some kind of other business venture with him. And like this is, this is, um, I fucking love pizza. I'm from Chicago, and it means a lot to me. And we've been doing a lot of, we've we've done a lot of taste tests up until now. Um, Ilya's we're, right now we're working on logos branding um, and yeah all this time I've been trying to keep it a fucking secret but we just trademarked the name a couple months ago and then people started finding out but I'm super pumped about it um, and yeah it's not going to be like a ghost kitchen or something it's going to be like a full blown like restaurant it's you know it's not going to be yeah it'll be sick it'll, it'll tell them more about it yeah uh, I think we're going to have a cool location we're almost uh, set to close the lease Oh, the location is fucking sick. Yeah. That I won't talk about. Yeah, right. Yeah, because that's, that's I love cool. the location. Yeah. It's fucking tiny, but it's in a fucking sexy spot. And it's a standalone building, so like it really, really stands out from everyone. When will the pizza uh-huh. place be open? Realistically. Realistically, eight to twelve months. Yeah, but I give that it that I can that I can um that I can under promise. I give it for yeah, sure. I give but, it a year. A year yeah. the pizza place will be open. It'll be called Dobricks and I yeah, and, and our can we talk about our partners? Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, Prince Street Pizza. Prince Street Pizza. Oh, they're gonna partner with yeah, you? They, they're oh, partnering that's great. with us. Yeah. No, they are our partners. Yeah. They, they have a percentage. They're going to own a percentage of Dobricks. And Prince Street is, if you watch my Instagram stories, I'm always Instagram storing their pizza. Prince Street Pizza, guys, fucking check them out. They're fucking delicious. And they are coming up with our, they're helping us come up with our entire menu. Because what we did is, um, We've been doing like taste tests on pizza and we've been doing it for like, I don't know, the last six, seven months. And it's just fucking, it's, it's so fucking tough to do. And it's like one day we'll come in and it'll, it'll we'll only be taste testing crust. And, and then, you know, you'll have to find out what crust is better. And then the next day it'll be just cheeses and then it'll be just marinara. And then it's like, it's like, it just feels like you're working so hard for, for no return. So now to Prince Street, since we love them so much, they're just going to help us come up with it from, from top to bottom, which is going to be fucking Sick. Super excited for that. Damn. As a resident Italian here, I say I approve this message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like the best pizza place to be partnered with. And I and I'm not just I'm not just saying this. I I'm fucking head over heels for their pizza. It's the best pizza in LA for it's sure, yeah. In fucking not in LA. And in New York. It, yeah. In yeah. fucking in the United States, I think it's so good. I think it's in the top it's in the top five, ten best pizza places in the US for sure. And that's yeah. that's like very bold to say. And it's really cool because um, Prince Street here, they the, the thing about LA pizza is why it's so different than New York pizza is because of the water they use. Like um, that's a big thing with pizza. Um, but Prince Street, they have found out a way to filter all the water, every water down to the ice cubes. They fucking they hold things in, they preserve things in. Everything is is uh, goes through this filter to make the LA water just like New York tap water. You guys are gonna do that too. Um, not sure. It just depends what kind Most of pizza. Likely. It yeah. depends what kind of pizza we make. I mean, if Prince Street is helping us, I feel like they're going to make us do that because I feel like they want the best pizza possible. What's going to be on the menu besides pizza? Is it just pizza? Is it a, the is first it, location? Just pizza. Just pizza. Yeah. I yeah. want it to be super easy. Just like in and out. You come in, you know, you know, there's no fucking, no 30 options. Can you um, sit? Right. No. no so it's going to be a two go place. There's mm-hmm. no sitting. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, there'll be like a little like, you know. Camp out, hang out area in the front, but Place to stand. Be able to sit. yeah. Eat a slice. And then there, there's also most likely going to be like an outside space that you can stand at. It'll be literally like a Dairy Queen. Like imagine <laughs> yeah. like going into Dairy Queen. There's a counter. You, you maybe there's two seats. 
like you can sit there and wait for your pizza right but there's no there won't be like a Tables. waiter or anything yeah. something like that um but yeah i'm so fucking excited for it and, I, and i've been trying to keep it a secret forever but i that's not i guess that's not fun i feel like keeping people updated it updated with things is, is a little more fun what's what's been the hardest part about it so far Il? I think the branding. Oh is like, yeah, the logo is so 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 tough. So tough. Yeah, because yeah. like there's no right answer. It's like but when it'll you be see so, it, when you see it, and like you love, you're like, oh, that's it. But like right. we haven't had that yet. Yeah, it's we've been, been working on the logo for like a month, uh-huh. and it's just it's such a bitch because like it's like it's also so tough because you like it and then you show it to somebody else and they go, that looks fucking stupid. Right. Um, right. but I think it'll be a lot easier now that we talked about it on the podcast. I feel like you're about to get a yeah. lot of fucking, a lot of logos coming yeah. at you, which is nice. <sighs> So when please you say you're testing marinara and crust and stuff, who, where does that come from? Uh, so Prince Street sources and or makes the ingredients. I see. And we put it together and we tried different variations of cheese, sauce, uh, doughs. And we say, okay, this one's good. This one's not good. Let's try this with this. You know, it's like, uh, it's like literally like a scientist in a lab just trying different things. Right. Wait, what? Did you see this fucking NBC article? This is a real article. It's titled... Former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist and Trump knows about it. Then in more details, it's a galactic federation has been waiting for humans to reach a stage where we will understand what space and spaceships are. And apparently uh, President Trump is aware of the extraterrestrials existence and had been on the verge of revealing um, information, but was asked not to in order to prevent mass hysteria. This is a fucking article on NBCnews.com. The... Unidentified flying objects have asked not to publish that they are here. Humanity is not ready yet, says the defense uh, secretary. The interview in Hebrew ran on Friday. And game Eshed, Eshed said cooperation agreements had been signed between species, including an underground base in the depths of Mars, where, there's an Ameri- where there are American astronauts and alien representatives. Are you fucking kidding me? What? How is this on NBC? It's like they wrote this shit for our podcast. Like, like let's Sounds c- fake. There is an agreement between the U.S. government and the aliens. They signed a contract with us to do experiments here. My thing is if aliens come, like, do they want to kill us? Man, maybe they just want to chill. But why here? Water. They need water. You don't water. think aliens have water? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe they need more water. There's a lot of water on Mars, isn't there? Yeah, they got water on Mars. I'm sure if you're an alien and if you can get to Earth, you can get to a lot of other places that have water. Imagine the aliens move here and one of them becomes a big TikTok star. <laughs> That'd be sick. Well, that's how they say Lil Huddy got a start. <laughs> they say he's actually from Pluto. I don't believe it. It's but. like Lil Miranda or whatever her name is. The, like... AR girl. That does feel kind of right, though. Yeah. Like, that does feel like what would happen. Like, an alien comes, everyone's freaking out about it. And then, like, five, fast forward five months later, it's like, he's just another TikTok star. <laughs> and he's like, all the comments are like, what happened to you? You're so washed up. <laughs> <laughs> like, all the comments are like, you used to be so cool when you landed. <laughs> and, like, now he's just doing, like, meet and greets at Nordstrom. <laughs> like, like that's that does sound like a very, like... Like, especially where humanity is in 2020, just for us to, like, accept something and then just be like, okay. Let's... Try to try to cancel Glargon. Yeah. <laughs> Glargon super sexist. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry for what I said. <laughs> you have to Please, keep in guys. mind I am new to Earth. <laughs> and the mistakes I make, I will be making a couple in the future. But I am here to serve humanity. I mean, I don't know. I'm listen. I'm all for aliens um, coming to Earth. I just, I don't know. I feel like it's. Uh... I didn't mean to chop off that girl's head on that live. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I just don't understand how they're speaking to them. Well, I mean, yeah. What, what's like? Where, what, what language are they speaking? What did they sign? Who signed something? Was it on did Zoom? They have, was it does, in person? Does this mean they have hands? Well, of course they're zooming. It's COVID. <laughs> You, you think aliens don't respect our COVID rules? How hard is it to communicate with another species that is smart? Can't be that. That can't be that difficult. Yeah, but what? Like, there are a lot of languages in the world. They're idiots. Why are they necessarily speak in English? Why aren't they speaking? We said that maybe they don't even have Wi-Fi. You think they're just idiots? Yeah. You think they're just idiots that like have a spaceship that goes so fast and they have no idea how they're getting to Earth? 
Maybe, maybe it's not a spaceship. Think just like it's like just like like imagine like a burnout that goes on like a road trip across the United States and ends up like at the Grand Canyon. Like yeah. that's how the aliens are. Maybe you assume they're superior. They it, might not be. It's just like teenagers from an alien land that like stole their parents' car and just kept driving. <laughs> oh, we all we ended up here on Earth. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> it's just the dumbest fucking aliens. Yo, they're these shrooms hitting hard. Yeah, they're always stoned and drugged. Maybe there's a girl out there for me on Mars. <laughs> You ever think about that? Could be. Would you date a Martian? Sure. Hell yeah. Really? I mean, at this point, <laughs> at this point, I'm trying to find somebody that will take care of me when I'm old. That's basically where I'm at. Wow. So you date an alien? I take an alien. Sure. What if? The, okay. What if the alien's super hot, but the way they have sex is she has to pull out your eyeball, and <laughs> and and spit right under it and put your eyeball back in. <laughs> what if, if it felt good? <laughs> if it felt good? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, it feels good for her. But then she'll try to do it to you and you'll try to explain to her like that's not how her eyes work. And she won't understand. She'll get sad and she'll be pouty in her alien corner. We go to therapy. <laughs> Jason, do you want to talk a little bit about what your sex life is like? Yeah, my fucking eyes are pulled out of my head. <laughs> I'm fucking screaming in pain. I don't like it. <laughs> You're so selfish. <laughs> you only think about yourself. What about my needs? You're so selfish. <laughs> And then I'd be like, okay, okay, I'll do it. What if like, <laughs> what if like all of a the aliens' body parts, like you know, when they lose them, they just grow back like a lizard? So you ask her to give you a blowjob, but she bites your dick off, <laughs> thinking, <laughs> thinking that, <laughs> thinking that that's how it works. It's just, it's just you'll grow another one. What kind of man are you? <laughs> Only one penis. <laughs> that doesn't grow back. <laughs> <laughs>